still YouTube. We back at it again. We gotta get another video. As you can see by the title of this video, we're here to review the Mod E. It's right over there. But we at the squad shop. Like with current detail. Since a lot of y'all. Since a lot of y'all be wondering what this is on my car. It's the squad. You know they ain't here working. Like always. I need my baby washed up. All this piling up on here, man. This is a big filter. I really can't wait to put my wheels on here, man. Look at her. But, oh yeah. Completely forgot to pick this up, y'all. Just so y'all know why I ain't capping when I say. Yeah. Look on the back just so you know I ain't capping. So this is squad. Squad. Yeah, just so y'all know I ain't capping Mustang. That's my old Instagram name. I changed my name. It's been a minute. I completely forgot about this shirt. But hell yeah. So. Waiting on David though. Vet just got cleaned up. Guess he part of Blacklist. Look at the wheels on that thing. Look at the stance on that thing. Sheesh. All right, y'all. This is the Maquis though. Oh, Bird got him already. He literally just watched the stage. Sheesh. Yeah, y'all. This was going down today. Damn. Check this out, y'all. Sheesh. Big wide body. It's the only, it's the only Dodge I buy. I ain't gonna cap, man. Big Grimbo's poked up in there, y'all know. Slight work. Sheesh. You got exhaust no. Well, I'm about to go check out this. This guy told me to go check out his, his bag sip. So, I'm about to go check it out, y'all. Across the street, though. Damn. That mug hard, though, though. Key. Sheesh. What y'all think about this? This John hard. Oh, this is a good flick, too, right here. Sheesh. Dang. It made me want to do bags, man. Keep the bus thing and do bags. Hmm. Hmm. That's an that's an idea. That's an idea, man. I don't know. Golly. I wonder what else he gonna do to it. This mug's sick though. Jeez. That one is hard. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about that. That joke's sweet. Jeez. Get that big pull out. Missed the ship on the vlog. <laughs> and that's Civic hard though. What you doing next to it? Uh, right now I have all the short shifter parts mm -hmm. coming. So I have a full, uh, short shifter, I have the bushings, uh, pedal spacer, uh, then the uh, flex fuel kit, Ooh. and then intercooler and all that good stuff. So, Damn, so you're going full bolt on? Yep. You're going to eat? Hey, oh yeah, so you going crazy. <laughs> Oh, no way they put a pony on here, bro. Of course. Hey, this is not branded as Ford at all. There's really? not a single Ford emblem on this car. It's all horses. Center cab, back, inside, doesn't matter where you look. I checked them all out when they came into the dealer. Every single trim like that. What? Hey, no Ford badge on not here at all. Not a single Ford badge. Yeah, they even got the name seals and everything, man. Smell freaking brand new. 
How many miles is on this thing? Uh, 980, I think. This Damn. is our demo one. We got it in our demo program. You're lucky to take it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jeez. Am I going for a rip? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go for a ride. Is it even started, man? Ooh, look at the... That's the best part. Them sequentials, man. Them sequentials hard. Hold on, let me get the tail lights too. That's one. Hold on, is it over here? That just hard, bro. This is sequentials. And y'all know, it's a button over here. It's a button, big button. All right. Bro, this thing rides so smooth, to be honest. I was surprised. That's so weird. I know, man, it's quiet, isn't it? Is it even on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, when I first got in, I turned it on. I ended up turning it off again. Because <laughs> really? I, I was like, is it on, bro? <laughs> bro, this wireless charging pad, bro. Bluetooth Apple CarPlay. It's an unbridled right now. Oh, and the one pedal stopped, bro. Check it out. Don't have to hit the brakes. Spoiling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to turn it over. Oh, yeah, this whole thing up here is good. It's all B&O. All this? That whole, that whole line on the dash. It's a whole speaker, y'all. Yup. Hey, look at the carbon fiber over here. You got the BNOs down here. Hey, this thing sounds great. Oh. Yeah, big. I forgot copyright. Yeah, <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that. All right, y'all. Whoa, shit, wait a minute. I forgot about this. Whoa, yo. I completely forgot about, oh, geez. yo. Bro, and it got that fake miles. little engine exhaust noise. Yup, you can turn it off if you don't like it though. I, I've been driving with it off to be honest. First off, I can barely hear it, you know? Yeah, you see that big V8 though. Yeah, look, don't have to hit the brakes, bro. Oh, I gotta hit the brakes now because it's gonna take it forever and hop in the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. This is crazy, y'all. Look at the whole roof, the whole roof. Look at that, gone. Bro, check it, no brakes, man. Nothing. We'll turn here. <laughs> <laughs> we're not bridled, of course. You can't do all the little, all the rest of the little stupid ones. Gotta be an unbridled. Exactly. Oh, this driver sucks. I forgot. This thing is sick. I know, man. I'm waiting for the GTs. I, I think, I have a feeling the GTs will spin off more. Because he makes 634 pound feet of torque. What? Yup. Like 425 horses and uh, 634 pound feet of torque in the GT Mach-E, whenever it comes out. Oh yeah, see, when you get that, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I will, bro. I, actually, I saw two manufacturer cars posted up on Telegraph one day. I was driving home. In the GTs? You got yeah. the full kit on it and everything? All black with the performance package wheels. What? Two of them backed into like Quiznos or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was dope. Dog, this joint. I don't know, man. Bro. You should see the climate. It's like the whole car. Does these animations for you and stuff. So what's back here? That's oh, that's where the, the air is falling. Dang, I'm thinking so it's the truck. Up, up this back. the back seat. <laughs> yeah, that's the back seat. So it shows you where the air falls. If I turn this off, it's not falling down there anymore. It'll show you exactly where it's coming out. They were all already sold before they even came in. And these things go for like what, 50, 56? I think this one is a plan at around 57. Dang. But when you buy a, buy a Mach E, you get $7,500 back in tax credit during tax season. What? And hey, that's what's up. Yup. So just take your cost minus $7,500. And the best part is Teslas don't get that. <laughs> what? Teslas don't get that tax credit. Dog, oh, see? Oh, yeah, he is also a salesperson too. Uh, what's Pat? Pat Millican Ford. Yep. Want to give me your number and stuff? Yeah, yeah. 313-387-7387. If you're in the market, definitely hit me up. We got, luckily, we're one of the biggest Ford dealerships around, so we always have a huge inventory. And if you need something, we can go get you it. See? See, look at that. Spoken like a true professional. See, I be messing up and stuff on the camera. Look at that. <laughs> How cold, man. And plus, he was on a commercial, too. I mean, go forget oh, that yeah, commercial. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, man. He, he don't, famous hey, out don't here. Don't remind me about that. <laughs> <laughs> he famous out here. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to do that, man. The sales lady that was had the day off or something they, they just my manager came up to me he's like you got to do this commercial i was like 
mean? <laughs> if y'all ever seen a David Sweet, bro, if y'all ever seen a commercial with him on, you'd be like, oh, he. Yeah, hey, he's that was Tom Holzer, though. We're not there anymore. Pat Milliken Ford now. Right, he big Pat Milliken Ford. So don't don't go to Tom Holzer. <laughs> don't go to Tom Holzer looking for him. Pat Milliken. So that's crazy, though. Still famous, though, off that commercial. <laughs> bro, I had all my, uh, all my boys were like snapping me. They're like, Bro, you on TV? Is this you? I was like, bro, I didn't know they put that shit on TV. <laughs> my mom made it. <laughs> I, I, was like, I was like, I thought it was going to be like their Facebook, get like all of 10 views or whatever. Yeah. And then my boy was like, yeah, I was watching YouTube and I saw you pop up and I was like, damn. <laughs> all over everywhere. Want to show my little stuff in the uh, infotainment system? This is complete. This is Sync 4A, so it's completely different. And what's crazy Sync is 4A? the 2021 Edge has this screen too. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen somebody review yeah, we have, so we have 21 edges too in, in at the dealer now. Oh yeah, see, I'm gonna have to review So that everything too. on the outside looks the same. Uh, SCL has got some uglier wheels for some reason. Yeah. Uh, but this this is the main difference in the edge. And then they changed a little bit on the cluster, not too much though. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out too. But it's the same exact way. Like climate's the same, looks like this. So basically, this the car is all your car settings right here drive modes camera if you want to do your bird's eye front facing camera whatever you want to do the wide angle camera all your sensors they crunch in when you get close to somewhere you can see we're a little close to the wall there oh that's sweet so it crunches in for you <laughs> <laughs> oh that's why i have okay. to hit the x <laughs> <laughs> so user error it's like not... <laughs> yeah the user error 100 bro i'll own up to it uh self-parking that's what this button's for so you know it parks itself just like most of the forts nowadays oh so you're looking for a parking spot right now yeah so basically you turn on your turn signal just let the right side sensors know it's gonna mm -hmm. be on the right side i don't think there's any spots in this lot we can try it on it was off. <laughs> Did it, don't even know. It <laughs> Man, it's going to be a minute, bro. We're going to look. I promise you, we're going to be looking pretty stupid for a little while with these customers because we already sold a Maki first edition and they know everything. These consumers mm -hmm. and the EV, the EVs, that's a whole different world, man. It's crazy. Probably a whole different community, too. See, throw it in neutral. You gotta hold the button. Mm -hmm. And it beeps for you too because it's electric, so it's hella quiet when it backs up. What? So on the outside, the hybrid F 150s will do the same thing. But you don't hit the gas, the brakes, you don't steer the wheel, nothing. You don't shift the you car. You even pull forward? Yep, you know, it's just for you. All you do is hold the park button and just relax. What? Actually, this system's better. I've tried this in uh, some of the 2020 mm -hmm. edges, the higher uh, trim levels. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as good as this. Look at that, no hands. What? what? Wait a minute. This is scary. Like, and you can see there, it'll tell you when it's gonna stop. That's what the green's there for. Oh, the green tip on it. Yeah, you know, gradually gets smaller, bigger. But he's not doing anything, yo. What? And we parked. And we parked. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you got access things for the charging stuff, the charging cords. They all come with them. You just plug into the wall in your garage. Uh, auto hold, bunch of driver assist settings. Like a slew of Jeez. Them. Oh yeah, so this has adaptive cruise stop and go with the flow of traffic and can come to a complete stop, go on its own too. Don't have to do anything. Okay. Speed limit assist. So when you're driving, it always has a speed limit sign up there for you. That's what that little black box is. It pops it up when you're on the road for real. Okay. Uh, speed warning, tolerance, all that stuff. The tolerance, basically, if you have any kids driving the car, whatever, you can set the mile per hour, the top speed of the car, uh, how much you want them to speed, three miles over the speed limit, five miles over the speed limit. That's the max they'll let you go. Wow. Lane keeping system, like most Fords now. That pops up up here. So that's your sensors. Those will turn green when you're in a lane. Turn yellow if you start getting too close. Turn red and vibrate your wheel and pull you back in your lane too. If you start drifting out. So you can't like get over. Unless you, if you have your signal on, the system knows that you want to get over. Okay, so without the without your signal on, you can't get over. Yeah, because it, it thinks you're drifting over. Okay. So it's going to try to save you. So will it vibrate the seat too or just? Just the wheel, vibrates the wheel some, and then it uh, pulls you back in too. And you can adjust the sensitivity and you can adjust the uh, vibration level on the wheel, stuff like that, to however you like it. Okay, that's sweet. 
Yeah, so much stuff. Pre-collision assist also has all the after braking and stuff. The blind spot mirrors, obviously, like most cars now. Mm -hmm. Automatic hold, which is almost pointless because it's already braking for you anyways. Right. But the auto hold just holds the brakes for you. If you're in drive, you don't want to go anywhere. And auto hold disengages it automatically for you too. But like I said, one pedal drive mode, so it's pretty pointless right now. Yeah, vehicle settings, general settings, just normal car stuff, sound stuff, connectivity. What's super cool about this though, if you come here, uh, once we go, this is the random settings. So like I like to do vehicle settings, picture of the car, random mm -hmm. settings, bunch of random dots, right? Mm. Easiest way to keep track of it. So that's like the whole, no. So this is evening suggestions. So what this is, you put in your profile, who you are with your phone. In the morning, it's gonna be, you're gonna see four different tabs here. It's gonna be what you normally go to in the morning. Say you go to the radio in the morning or the news station in the morning, most of the time, it's gonna suggest your radio. At nighttime, say you get off work and what you, first thing you do is pull up your map to go get some food, it'll have your map suggested here instead. So this constantly changes based on what you're doing in the day. Wow. What apps you're using in the car. Uh, it, re it remembers what you use most of the time in the morning, most of the time at nighttime, and it puts whatever you use most of the time at that time of day here at that time of day. That's crazy. So it's basically like the uh, little swipe down thing on your phone. Yep. All the sound stuff like normal, charge stuff. You can set personal profiles for different drivers in the car. It links the memory seats. So you add a photo if you want to, like a key fob. You only get one key fob with the mock keys, but you add on your Ford Pass app, phone is a key. You can do uh, windows, okay. unlock it, lock it, start it, whatever. And what's nice too, because I hear Teslas don't ever turn off. One of my boys has a Tesla Model 3, mm -hmm. and it's all a phone key. He said it never turns off, but Tesla's always on. Oh no, see, but I don't this, like that. This, this turns off. That's because they got the little camera system around the car that see people when they approaching the car. That's the only thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hear Teslas never turn off. I thought that was a little weird. This is insane, though. That's pretty cool to let y'all get it, though. But we don't even get none of this access after we work in there. At the manufacturer. Really? No, we don't get Man, what the heck? <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, we're lucky with this demo. Maki's are really hot items. Really? Anyone looking for one has to place an order pretty much. Dang. You think that's how the Bronco gonna be? Oh, the Bronco was order only at first. Actually, the night yesterday, uh, Friday was the last day we could submit the orders to Ford. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I'm about to drag them. <laughs> Maki. Nervous, though. Yeah, here it go. Oh, nice and big bolster. Heat it too. I'm ready for like the to, to roll, but don't even roll. Why don't you put your foot on the gas and don't even roll at all? Yeah, it's that Weird. one pedal stop. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get used to that one pedal first. <laughs> once I found out the distance though, uh yeah, that's what I haven't say. used the brakes all day. Once you find out the distance, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't used the brakes all day. It's it's really weird though. I it it's, makes me uncomfortable coming up behind cars and not touching the brakes. Yeah, it's like wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. I'd be like, uh, one second, man. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give it a pull in a minute, but make sure you know. Touch wrong. Oh, that's stopping. I haven't driven one of these in a minute, so do a little bit. Oh shit. Wait, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> that should not happen, yo. That's what I'm saying. Bro, listen, man, that has been me all day. I've been what? going the speed limit, and then I just randomly floor it, and I start going, oh it, my God. It's gonna be a lot of tickets, man, because like- It's, it's so get... linear. What the You know? The power's so linear, it's so, People just say. weird. And you only, you, no gears. Nothing. You know, just, just straight torque. <laughs> Instantly, you can do a pull right here. Foot to the floor. Look at they just hooks up and go. Nick to the. All right, bro. Imagine the GTs. Why did they do this, man? <laughs> Turn around up here. God, dude, this is breaking. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yeah, the breaking for sure takes some getting used to. It's nice though, cause it's not too hard. So when you do take your foot off the gas, you're not getting thrown forward all the time, you know? Yeah, it's just like a slight little ease into it. Yeah. If I go drive on a high horsepower car, you just keep tapping the gas. <laughs> <laughs> this one's so weird, cause you just get it right away. Bro. You know, like those V8s, you can get on your gas and, and hear them rumble without right. going fast. But this is, it's just instant. When was the last time you charged this? Uh, I haven't charged it since I left work. 
Dang, that's only fifty eight percent. Yeah, full charge on the extended battery gets two eighty. Two eighty? Mm hmm Two eighty miles. It's important to keep in mind though, when it's really cold in winter and stuff, it's gonna cut your light by about fifty percent. So did they give you a charger or you just charge at the uh, oh, you can, So all mach that come with the, the normal cord, you just plug into your wall at home and plug it into the mach -E. right, charges longer, are, right? Nope, charges. Uh, extended battery like this takes 10 and a half hours to charge on a 220 volt. Damn. So you just park it overnight, you're good to go. 280 miles, not many people drive that much in a day. No. It's actually pretty nice. Now we gotta wait for that all electric F-150 to come in. Yeah, that we have those already. Those Can you are, get one of those? Those are super popular. No, nah, man, they're all sold right away. Oh. We've already delivered two out of state. Oh we gosh. shipped one out to Cali and one out to some guy from Arkansas flew up here and drove it back. I heard them things is nasty. Which McCullough got one sting mode? Oh, yeah, those, the limiteds, those yeah. things are amazing, man. All right, what's the deal, YouTube, man? It's something all in my face, man. But, all right, y'all, as you can see, that jump was hard, though. It was, I ain't gonna lie, man. They doing something with that. They they know what they're doing with that, man. And I would like to give a huge shout out to David Sweet. Like you guys seen. And make sure y'all go hit him up if you're really interested in the Ford. And if you guys are in Michigan, make sure you guys hit him up because he's a great person, a great salesman. And you have a good deal. So go check him out, you guys. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching another video of Von Blogs TV. Stay tuned for the next banger. And you already know, because that's not, that's all we do. And if it's little stuff, that's why we ain't vlogging. Because it's just, I'm not about to bring y'all no basic content, man. Like some of these other YouTubers do, like make up stupid stuff just to bring y'all some content. Nah, bro, we ain't doing that. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next vlog. It's your boy, Von Vlogs TV, out with another banger. And we out. And don't ever forget, don't ever forget to trust God. Never lose faith. Because he'll never lose faith and trust in you. So, everybody, anyway, guys, peace out to the next one. Peace.